Hello viewers, uh, welcome to this class of tutorial. Um, cute looks. Um, I've missed you guys, yes I did, because I've not been available and I know some of you missed me as well. So I won't be taking too much of your time because we'll be cutting the lap ones today. So for those of you who have been with us, we say thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And for you joining me for the first time, thank you for being here. If you're still passing, don't forget to give me a like as well. Um, subscribe, turn on your notification, and then we'll go straight to the tables and I'll show you what I want to do on the table about the lap coats. So let's go to the table, guys. And so I have my tools ready. You can see I have my scissors, I have my ruler, and my two chocks. I have my ammo curve and then my tape. And also have my measurements. You can see this is the length, says 40, bust 40. My half length, that's the shoulder to the waistline, 17. My waist, 39. This is my hip, says 40. My sleeve length, my round sleeve, the elbow length, round elbow, and the cuff, which is the bottom side of my sleeve. I have this measurement. This is more like SS of the person's measurement. You can see this is a standard bust measurement of this person, it's 32. And the waist is 28, the hip is 39. You can see the SS I have on them because it's meant to be a free garment and not a fitted one. Okay, about my chalk. You say I have to chalk. Why should I work with two chalks? You can see this is a white fabric. I could actually be working with white and then you will not see it. So I'm working with this blue. But one, when you're doing yours, this is what you need. So I'm going to be working with this one here. So I'm going to start with my lens measurements. I'm going to start from the upper side of this and then I'm going to get out my 40 first. So like I said, I'm going to use the blue chalk so you can you can see it's a little bit visible on this fabric. But I won't be so deep so I don't mess it up. So I'm going to chalk out my 40 out this fabric with a lens of chalk. Okay, and then I'm going to take my ruler and roll this out. So this is my 40 and then I'm going to be adding 2 inches at the bottom. I'll be using half to hold on to my shoulder and one and a half to fold the bottom side. And so this is my one and my 2 inches on the downside. You can actually apply one and a half inches so when you use half to hold your shoulder you can use one to fold the bottom side. So I've got to my length and before you cut this, don't forget to cut it that. You're going to be cutting the back side first. Before you achieve the front side because of the pattern of the bottom stand it's not like our regular shirts so i'm going to come up here and take my shoulder measurement that says 17 here and then this is my 17 and because it's a free garment i'm going to be adding half inch this is my 17 that says 18 eight and a half inches so i'm going to add half inch to hold on to my shoulder so i'm going to be slanting by one inch so it's going to relax away and then i'll slant before taking off the neck measurement so this is my shortest length. Then I'll take out, take my armhole first. I'm going to be taking my armhole because it's meant to be free. I'll take it at eight and a half inches. And then what I have at my shoulder here, I'll take it all the way so that my um, ruling is going to be very, very straight. So this is it. Then I'll roll it. The process is just like when you're cutting your normal um clothes but it's been free that's just it and so i'm going to come down to this area the shoulder side and take my neck measurement i don't want it too too wide so i'm going to be using three inches here because it's the back side the depth is going to be just one inch and then i'll use my ammo curl you can use your free hand but i want to curl with this so this is just what i'm going to do And so mind you, when you're sewing things like this, uh, you need to iron out your clothes. You need to be very neat iron. You can see my iron messed up this place. Why trying to get this angle out? Very, very neat. So I'm going to be linking the video of how I cleaned up my iron so I won't be having issues of things like this. And so I'm going to be taking my bust length. I'm going to be making my bust length at 13 inches. And then my half length is says 17. I'm going to be applying half into it to make it 17 and a half. I'm just going to make it accurately and then I won't be rolling this out so I don't stain the clothes. You can see I'm using a color chalk. And then I'm going to take the hip length, it says 26 and a half. This is where my hip measurement will take place. 
and there's the length of my clothes. So I'm going to start from the boss. When I divide 40 into 4, it gives me 10 inches. So I'm going to apply my 10 inches here. And then I'm going to add half inch because this garment does not need much inch on it. And then the waist area says 39. 39, when I divide into 4, it's going to give me 9 through quarter. This is what I have here. And then I'm going to add one and a half inches to it because I need the darts behind. So for the fact it's a free garment, doesn't mean you cannot fit the back a little. And then at the hip area, it says 44. I'm going to apply my 44 plus half into it. So you can see, most times a lab coat doesn't have that curve, except you want to start putting process on it. So the total of all I have here is 44 and a half. I'll come to the bottom side and place the same 44 and a half down here and I'll bring it up as well so that my ruling will be easy for me so I'm going to roll this you can roll from the up and you can roll from the downside and so I'm going to take this straight to make this angle you can see we're not having too much hip shape measurement and then we'll connect to the bust and then the armhole and then I'm going to curve my armhole up here by one inch. I'm just going to take my one inch up. Oh no, rather let me use half inch since it's a free garment. I'm going to just curve it to blend into this place. And so this is just it. So I've gotten my back part out. I'm going to cut it out. Take from here. Mind you, I'm cutting this out for a female. If you're making for a male, you will be making it a bit bigger because the male always like ease on their body. Or like real female that might want to have our figure coming out a little on our lab coat. So I'm going to cut this out. So I've got the back part ready. I'm not taking the neck out first. I'm going to take it and apply the front. So I'm going to pin this all the way down so that it doesn't move around. Okay. So I've gotten the back part of this. I'm going to be getting the front out with the back. For the back side you can actually apply a vent at the bottom side of it. You see some lab coat that has a vent behind it. That you have to apply a two inches allowance to be able to achieve your vent. And then, but I don't have that in this. This is just a regular lab coat to cut out. And then way to use it to achieve the front side. So for the button stand of our waistcoat, it's not like a regular button stand that we bring out two and a half inches. When we finish folding, we end up at one quarter to put our button stand. But in this case, I'm going to be putting five inches out for the button stand because it's going to be folding inside. So I'll get my five inches because this button stand is going to be like a facing and a button stand at the same time going straight to the neck part of this while we apply the color so I have this and I have my five inches all the way down so I'm going to roll it from the downside and from the upside in the part that is okay for you to know so I'll get this out so I'm going to cut this out Then this part where I have my half into covering, 
I'm going to be adding extra half inch up here because it's the front side and then I'll curve it to make this okay you see so I'm going to go this way So, we have it all cut out here. Then, for the front leg, I already have my back leg that says three and three inches by one inch. And then, the front leg, for us to be able to achieve it, I'm going to go back like this. This is my five inches. I'm going to be going in by three and a half inches. This is my three and a half inches. Let me make it visible for you to see. This is my three and a half inches. So I'm going to notch here. And I'll bend this inside carefully. So you can see I have a facing and I have a boxer stand at the same time. You see, my facing has gone inside, and I have a bottom stand as well. So, I'm going to cut this out. You can even make your small, maybe five and a half inches. You could also leave your bottom stand remaining one inch anymore. You know that you feel it's good for you. But most, I prefer using five inches, so I won't be having excess of the facing inside of it. So, I'm going to cut this out in the depth of my front neck from here so I'm going to be using two three quarter down here then this is my neck point here I'll curve it carefully curve it to meet here and then I'll cut out the back neck Not a notch and I'll cut out the front Sealed up the neck area where you'll be seeing that it's open, and then you're able to do it. This is my bottom stand here. So, you're okay, done cutting the body parts, I'm going to be cutting out the sleeve, cut out the sleeve. Yes, so I'm going to take the skins off. So we are going to um, cut out the sleeve now. So my sleeve measurement says 20 inches. So I'm going to mark out my 20 inches here. This is my 20 inches. And then I'll roll it out. And then I'm going to be adding extra three and a half inches, half inch to hold the shoulder and then three inches to fold the bottom. The reason why I always add extra of this is in case the person says the sleeve is not long enough, then you can extend out. So this is my three and a half inches. I'm going to chop all the way. And you can even make just three inches and end at the bottom folding of the sleeve at two and a half inches. It's still not bad. So I'm going to cut out this. So I'll start with the round sleeve. To get my round sleeve, I'll first of all go down by two inches at the end side of the sleeve measurement and then I'll come down again by four inches to get my round sleeve that says 17. So this is my 17 here. I'm going to add half into it. Then I'll take the elbow length that says 12 plus half inch and then my round elbows that says 14. And this is my 14 plus half. And then the bottom side there says 10 inches. So this is my 10 inches here plus half inch. 
and then I'll bring it all the way down here a total of 11 inches so I need to connect this carefully connect this You can make your own lab coats sleeve bigger, depends on how you want it to be. So, I'll do push this, then I'll take it all the way up here. And then to get my armhole, my armhole says eight and a half. I'm going to bring down eight and a half, um, four and a half inches here, and then I'll get four inches, that's eight and a half. And I'm going to add one and a half inches to it and then take this up to meet it and so from there I'm going to come carefully come from the four and a half inches to meet the two inches down here so when I'm going to be connecting this I'll go like this this is my eight and a half inches and then I have my sewing allowance so any other extra to go with it it's better safe than not having enough. So I'm going to cut this out. First folding the bottom side this way. So you can see. And then I'll cut from this angle. Putting my tape back around here at 11 inches. I feel I should add to this. Okay, let me make it 12 inches. So the bottom side will be 11 inches. So I'm going to add this way. Yeah, it's looking better now. So I'm going to cut this way. So I've cut out the first leaf. I'm going to pin this all the way down so that I'll be able to use it to cut out the second one so this doesn't shift. Okay. So I'm going to be cutting out um, the pocket. So I'm going to be making my pocket nine and a half inches depth. And then I'm going to be making the wideness as well as nine and a half inches. So it's more like I'm working with nine and a half by nine and a half inches. That's for the pocket measurement. So this half will serve as the folding of the bottom of this place and then the standard measurement is going to be 9 inches for the two side pocket at the hip area. So I'm going to be measuring 9.5 inches. I'll roll it out. So this is my 9.5 here. And so I'll add 1.5 inches up for the pocket mouth folding. So it's more like I have a total of 11 inches to what I'm cutting out here. So it depends on how deep you want it to be and the age of the person you're working for. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut out my nine and a half inches wideness around here. So I'll move this out. Because this is not a party dress, we don't need to be fancy in it. We just have to do the regular things that we need on the body. So I'm going to just notch these two areas to show that this is the place I'm going to be folding while I'm sewing. So I'll notch here and then I'm going to be opening this part. So, so it's, it's, I'm having two side pockets at the hip area. So you see I have two. Then I'm going to be getting out my breast pocket. So this is it. I'm going to be getting my breast pocket at um, six and a half inches by six inches. You can even make it bigger depending on how much you want it to be, but I don't want the breast pocket too too big. So I'm going to be making six and a half inches. So when I fold the bottom by half inch, I remain at my six inches depth so and there's the upper side I'm going to be folding I'm going to be adding um, one quarter 
to the upper side to fold them out of my pocket. I'm going to weave out the quarter and then fold in. I'm going to weave out the quarter and then stitch it so it ends at one inch. You can actually fold the quarter using your pressing iron so it's going to be neat while you're working if you don't want to weave it out. So I already have my length measurement. I'm going to be having the wideness now. So what I have here is 6 inches which is not bad because at the end I'm going to be ending up at 5 inches. That's just how small I want it to be. If you want yours bigger than that, no problem. So this is my 6 inches. This is my 6 inches. I'm going to take it all the way down. And so down here as well, this is my 6 inches. So I'm just going to roll this and roll it out. So I'll cut this out. So I'm going to fold this backward and then notch. So it helps me know where I'm folding from. And so that's just it. So guys, I think we're through. So we have our two side pockets, we have our breast pocket, we have um, our sleeves ready. Okay, so we have our front part and the back part ready for us to make our lab coat and then we have our pieces remaining for our collar i won't be cutting this out until i'm done joining the co the shoulder of this so thank you for joining me into this tutorial i'm going to carefully fold this so that when i'm making it we all have all patterns all parts together so thank you for joining me to this tutorial i'll see you in my next video don't forget to give me a thumbs up turn on your notification and subscribe please please do that and then also follow us on our facebook cute stitches i'm going to see you in my next tutorial bye guys